I live again and again through these miserable memories and keep asking myself, was it then, in the glitter of that remote summer, that the rift in my life began? Or was my excessive desire for that child only the first evidence of an inherent singularity? When I try to analyze my own cravings, motives, actions, and so forth, I surrender to a sort of retrospective imagination, which feeds the analytic faculty with boundless alternatives and which causes each visualized route to fork and refork without end in the maddeningly complex prospect of my past. I am convinced, however, that in certain magic and fateful way, Lolita began with Annabelle. I also know that the shock of Annabelle's death consolidated the frustration of that nightmare summer, made of it a permanent obstacle to any further romance throughout the cold years of my youth. The spiritual and the physical had been blended in us with a perfection that must remain incomprehensible to the matter-of-fact, crude, standard-brained youngsters of today. Long after her death, I felt her thoughts floating around mine, floating through mine. Long before we met, we had had the same dreams. We compared notes. We found strange affinities. The same June of the same year, 1919, a stray canary had fluttered into her house and mine in two widely separated countries. Oh, Lolita, had you loved me thus? I have reserved for the conclusion of my Annabelle face the account of our unsuccessful first tryst. One night, she managed to deceive the vicious vigilance of her family in a nervous and slender lift mimosa grove at the back of their villa we found a perch on the ruins of a low stone wall through the darkness and the tender trees we could see the arabesques of lighted windows which touched up by the colors inks colored inks of sensitive memory appeared to me now like playing cards presumably because a bridge game was keeping the enemy busy she trembled and twitched as I, kissed the, as I kissed the corner of her parted lips and the hot lobe of her ear. A cluster of stars palely glowed above us between the silhouettes of long, thin leaves. That vibrant sky seemed as naked as she was under her light frock. I saw her face in the sky, strangely distinct, as if it emitted a faint radiance of its own. Her legs, her lovely leaf legs, were not too close together, and when my hand located what is sought, a dreamy and eerie expression, half pleasure, half pain, came over those childish features. She sat a little higher than I, and whenever in her solitary ecstasy she was led to kiss me, her head would bend with a sleepy, soft, drooping movement that was almost woeful and her bare knees caught and compressed my wrist and slackened again, and her quivering mouth, distorted by the acridity of some mysterious potion with a sibilant intake of breath, came near to my face. She would try to relieve the pain of love by first roughly rubbing her dry lips against mine. Then my darling would draw away with a nervous toss of her hair, and then again come darkly near and let me feed on her open mouth, while with a generosity that was ready to offer her everything, my heart, my throat, my interests, I gave her to toll, I gave her to holding her awkward fist, the scepter of my passion. I recall the scent of some kind of toilet powder. I believe she stole it from her mother's Spanish maid, a Swedish, uh, lowly, musky perfume. It mingled, mingled with her own biscuity odor, and my senses were suddenly filled to the brim. A sudden commotion in a nearby bush prevented them from overflowing, and as we drew away from each other and with aching veins attended to what was probably a prowling cat, there came from the house her mother's voice calling her with a ra rising frantic note, and Dr. Cooper ponderously limped out into the garden. But that mimosa grove, the haze of stars, the tingle, the flame, the honeydew, and the ache remained with me. 
and that little girl with her seaside limbs and ardent tongue haunted me ever since, until at last, 24 years later, I broke her spell by incarnating her in another. <laughs>